Hey, what's up everybody? Um, as I'm sure most of you remember that one of the, the main tools, the most useful tools in single variable calculus was the so-called mean value theorem. Let me remind you just in case uh, this is this uh, picture here uh, on the left above. Um, we have a function f, which is a function of a single variable, and we assume that this function is differentiable, meaning we can compute the derivative at every point, uh, at least on the open interval um, h to, uh, I mean, a to a plus h, and uh, then the single uh, variable version of the mean value theorem tells us that between a and a plus h, you can always find a point c. This might be here in our picture, but you can always find such a point c, such that if you evaluate the derivative of f at the point c and multiply this by the difference from a to h a to a plus h, which is of course h, then uh, this is the same as the difference of the values a uh, f at a plus h minus the value of f at a. So uh, to do this very graphical, you could say that uh, you can always fit a tangent. In our picture, it would be in this point, such that this tangent uh, has a slope uh, which is equal to the derivative in this point C, and uh, such that uh, um, such that you uh, get, go from uh, a to a plus h um, if you move uh, h along this uh, this tangent. And now there is a, a multidimensional uh, version of this theorem, and this is what we are going to look at in this lecture. So uh, to get some intuition, have a look at this second picture. Um, here we have our plane, and uh, here we have our function, which is now a function of two variables. But uh, it is important to say it doesn't need to be a function which uh, is a function of only two variables. It could be very well uh, be um, a function of uh, n variables. And... Um, of course, we couldn't draw this, so uh, what we draw here is, of course, the case that uh, f is a function of two variables, but we uh, understand that this is uh, just a special case, and in the proof we are going to treat the general case. And now uh, what we want to, to do is um, generalize this uh, single variable statement. This is, uh, we want to say that for this multivariable function, we also have uh, f plus a plus h minus f of a um, is equal to the derivative of f at some point between a and a plus h. Note that uh, h, of course, is also uh, a vector in this case, not just a number. This is a vector that lies in the x, y plane in our case. So uh, the derivative of f at some point, c, c is gonna uh, get another name uh, soon, um, times h. So this is uh, this is a vector multiplication. This is a matrix, uh, which is uh, just the Jacobian matrix. 
and this is our vector h and uh, this is the this is the multidimensional version of the mean value theorem that we are now going to prove for the proof um, we uh, shall I make shall make our life easy by introducing two uh, two functions the first one gamma gamma of t um, this uh, is defined to be the following um, a plus t h where t is um, in the uh, closed interval, interval um, 0 to 1. So what this does is uh, if you plug in 0 here you get a. If you plug in a value uh, t between 0 and 1 you are somewhere on uh, on this line from h to h plus uh, to uh, a plus h maybe here and if you plug in one you go all the way to uh, a plus h and uh, we introduce a sec second function uh, uh, theta which is also a function of t and uh, theta is defined to be um, just the composition of this uh, function gamma and our old function f. So um, theta is uh, gamma of t and then f, which we can also write as f of alpha plus t h. And um, note that uh, this, uh, this function uh, theta is a function from r to r because it starts here, it, starts, it, it, it starts here on the closed interval 0 to 1, uh, which is in r, and uh, it, is, it assumes uh, values in um, in R because uh, this is this y-axis is nothing but a copy of R of course so uh, this is a function from R to R and we can uh, we can look at the derivative of this function using the multivariable uh, version of the uh, uh, chain rule so uh, the derivative of this function is by the chain rule the derivative of um, um, is the derivative of uh, <laughs> I got distracted by this uh, stupid message from my tablet um, so uh, the derivative is the derivative of uh, f at gamma t times the derivative of f at t. And um, note that the derivative of uh, gamma t, if you look at gamma t, is, this is just h. So this, this is h and um, so we have the derivative of f at gamma t times h and since uh, this function uh, theta is a function from r to r we can use the single variable version of the mean value theorem to conclude that theta of theta of uh, 1 
minus theta of zero is equal to the derivative of theta, which we have just computed, f at some uh, point gamma t times h. And um, of course, times the uh, length of this uh, line from uh, gamma uh, theta zero to uh, theta one, which is one, this is this interval, of course. Um, so we could write one here for sake of clarity. Um, but this is our, uh, this is our conclusion. Um, we have that uh, we have that uh, theta one minus theta zero, which is uh, if you plug it in, nothing but uh, uh, f of h a, a plus h minus f of a. Remember, this was just the way that theta was defined. If you look at at, it, at the definition up here, um, this is equal to the derivative of f at some point gamma t times uh, h, and uh, this is our this is the conclusion of the theorem. And uh, this concludes the lecture on this multivariable uh, version of the mean value theorem. Thank you for watching. Uh, post questions in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you soon.